Water does not exist shall be reviewing Comic Cataclysm. Again! 5.0! Dude, 5.0? That's crazy, man. I reviewed this when it was update 0. So I'm not good at memory. I'm not gonna try and remember every little detail from the first time I reviewed this map because that was so long ago. So we're just gonna act like everything's new to me. Alright, so first things first. The enemies start off from here, right? And they go all the way here. That's it? No, no way, dude. This is such a small map. Okay, so all our heroes are going to be placed over here, basically. At least there's some curvature. Compared to Bleak Barrett, how much longer or shorter, or if it's the same size, is it? This is going to be a hard map, isn't it? Gosh, dude. Now, from what I can remember, I think this map is supposed to be like some guy who apparently creates all the enemies for tower heroes, right? Because all of these things are little figures, right? You got the alien some reaper back there <laughs> oh here's his desk it's a ghost some slime is that void reaper a golem there's one right there you got concepts for certain enemies oh look at this little golem playing some music oh that's neat you got the inflatable figure stain right there who is that hey you don't belong here you don't belong here get out of here oh look you got the cat from that dancing game that map i forget what it's called you got a half finished slime king a reaper some extra slimes dude this is so awesome man oh and here's a station okay laptop you got a little golem figure sitting on the chair oh some cookies and tea or coffee oh dude the rain outside is just so nice this is so cozy man you got paint all over the place you got paint brushes and then more concepts for enemies who's that sleeping what are you doing in the paint buddy this map is just so well done it's just so so beautiful man so cozy so vibrant the detail is just so nice i don't know man is this too many pieces i can't tell maybe that's why they needed to update this so frequently dude holy oh look at this the closet what the what's this where does this lead to oh there's like a little mouse hole there i don't know if this is even meant to be part of the map like do enemies come from here no they probably don't but basically just more supplies back here all right well that's kind of neatish. if this does go over the pieces limit i can't exactly remember what the piece limit was for tower heroes for map creations but if it goes over you really don't need that closet man that's just extra detail for nothing but if it doesn't then that's nice to have i guess oh that rock over there the golem that's doing all the piano playing his name is wilford rock dude i like this little guy someone decided to scratch his ordeal though man all right now that we've seen everything let's go see the enemies now the map itself gets a new atmosphere with each difficulty in my personal opinion this is a pretty cool feature i mean we have grand garage right that gets a different atmosphere at a hard difficulty so let's see how this works okay so easy the heck okay so this is just the normal how we spawn okay that's fine okay medium what happened uh Nothing really feels different. Okay, so easy and medium mode are the same. All right, hard. Oh! Wait a minute, the music's different. Oh, it's dark! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. This is cool, dude. Oh, look, you got the infl inflatable figure stain glowing. That's so neat. Oh, the music change and the scenery is just so different, vibrant. I love it, man. Such a cozy feeling, dude. What do these represent? 15 huh okay music changed oh wait a minute yo you got violins around him wilford such a talent okay 25 oh yo he's got pedals and now he's got what a xylof how do you pronounce that xylophone starts with an x oh dude that is so neat that is so beautiful all right so let's try 35 oh yo look dude so they removed the pedals and now you get this starry ordeal this song is so neat and nice man it's such a peaceful vibe all right last but not least 40. oh dude wilford is just jamming it out so are these just different music choices or as the oh wait a minute oh now i see what these numbers represent waves okay so by wave 15 you get this okay 
That makes so much sense. And then as you progress to wave 25, 35, and 40, then the music changes. Okay, that is awesome, dude. I don't remember that being here, was it? I do kind of vaguely remember the hard mode changing to this dark feature, but I don't remember the music changes for the different waves you get. That's so cool, dude. So far, I think between wave 25 and 35 are my favorite. Oh my goodness, man. This is so awesome. All right, we'll leave it like that. Oh, look, the submission requirements. Mass must be under 2,500 parts. Oh, he did that. Okay, perfect. Path must fit inside the provided bounds. Yep, it does. Good. Scaling must be at least close to the hero's size. Not sure what this means. Well, it's got to look like... I don't know how to even say this, but... It means the map should fit the size of the hero, but at the same time, right? This is supposed to be based off of a, like a human. No, maybe not human, but an artist that creates things. So this looks pretty big already. I mean, look at my size already, right? Like that chair, dude, is huge. In other words, if I, if I were to put wizard here, the chair should look normal size for him, right? Right now, everything is just too big. That's probably what that means. It's supposed to hit the hero size. So, like, for example, if there was a house, right? The door should be big enough for, you know, wizard size, right? It's not supposed to be big enough for my size because that will look humongous for, in front of him. I think that's what that means. I, I don't really 100% know, but that seems to be, like, the best thing I got. At least as to what the scaling size should be. Using free models is not allowed? Perfect, yeah! Once finished, select your map, right-click, save to Roblox, and upload it as a model. All right, perfect, dude. And you did that. Okay, so yeah, just fix the scaling. I think everything here should look normal size to wizard, basically. And for us, we're supposed to look huger than it. I mean, just take the library, for example. I'm guessing we're probably gonna get a Comic Cataclysm 6.0 update. But for that one, I won't need to review it because everything just needs to be scaled down. The skins! Easy Bite skin. Look at that! Oh, wow, that is really neat. Huh, you know what? Pretty cool for an easy skin. Yeah, I like it. Who changed the tune? Medium skin, dumpster child. Oh, the tea thing or coffee. I remember that was over there. Did you change it? Did you change the music, woman? How dare you change my music, man? Change this back to 35. Heck you doing, blood? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I am to be feared. Anyways, going back to the medium dumpster child skin. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little creature coming from there. I remember this guy. It's supposed to be like a little bubble coming out, right? Hard, specter skin. Oh, yo. That is so awesome. I kind of want Wilford though. Yo, wait, speaking of Wilford, there he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, first things first, the specter skin. I just love the idea that he's coming from paint, man. That is so awesome. Isn't this supposed to be the boss? Oh, cool. So we get the boss as a skin. Oh, that that's his name. Neary? Near? I don't know how to pronounce that, dude. And mimic specter skin. Okay, so two specter skins. Dude, I want Wilford. Look at that, man. He gets his little triangle. Then as he's leveling up, his instruments change. Oh, yo. I love Wilford. Wait a minute. And so with that music, is that what we get for him? Oh, that is so awesome. What is this? Portrait. The un... Mimic? So instead of just getting a regular mimic, we get a portrait of it. Okay. Yeah, that's an all right idea. Let's see. File. Spawned by Possessed PC. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that effect. Possessed PC. Oh, so that's what Bite is supposed to be. A possessed PC. Got it. Got it. Gerald. Ooh, yo, some violin. Okay. You got a rolling cookie. Oh, so that's what that creature is that was in the paint. Spill. Got it. Okay. Oh, wow. He transforms into a gruesome character. All right, who's this? Worsey? Oh, look at that. He's got scissors. Oh, split scissors. Oh, that is awesome, dude. He's gonna be swinging that around, huh? Pale has multiple colors. Not bad, yeah. Oh, I like that effect. Oh, that is awesome. Dude, these enemies are so cool, man. They could be literal followers. Scrap walker. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Ugh. Crawl ball. Oh, are these supposed to be the concepts that were tossed out? Rolled up. You know, crumbled, etc. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Oh, you got a little scrap here. Oh, so a combination of Scrab Walker and Crawl Brawl. Okay, cool. Mercy. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is an entirely different character. Oh, yo. I like the idea that he's using the paintbrush as a lance. And then, I forget what they call this. The 
painting palette, whatever, as a shield. Very good. Where are these supposed to be? Pontoid Walker, Pontoid Crawler, Pontoid Copter, Pontoid Wheelie, and Pontoid Crasher. Yo, all right. The slime variants. Look at that. I love the white outline. I don't know why, man. It's so awesome. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm avoiding the descriptions because, I mean, they take way too long, dude. So I'm trying to shorten this video as much as possible. All right. Ooh, golem variants. Crayons. Oh, yo, that's a neat idea. Chiron. So, wow, that those are some long legs, my guy. You got Teal, the little T guy. That's a nice little enemy file. I love the smoke that's coming out of it. That's awesome. Bolum. Oh, so the golem, but with cookies for hands and a huge bowl for a head. Okay. Yeah, I respect this idea a lot. Mini boss. Teapot and Titan. Dude, the Teapot Titan. Awesome, dude. A combination of all these little golems that are supposed to be in the forms of bowls and teas and plates, etc. That is so cool, dude. I love the bubbles floating around it. The steam coming out of it. Oh, dude, that would be a nice enemy follower. And you got a little false cook cookie. All right. Oh, so that's what that specter skin was about. Okay, boss near. Or I can't pronounce that name. Okay, so for easy, you get the nor variety. Not bad, not bad. Huh. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so it's just black and white. Got it with the pencil around its... Well, it's supposed to be ear, I guess, but it's not there, so it's just floating. Okay, wait. There's definitely a change here because I don't remember the boss looking like this with that. That is... Wow! So that's the hard? Yo! Look at how colorful it is. That paintbrush, all of it. Oh my goodness. I do remember it having like some type of snaky trail though. So that is cool. A colorful trail. Not bad. So he's got an eraser floating around him. Still got the pencil and some... Is that... What is that? Like a measuring ruler thing? Don't know what that's supposed to be, but very neat. And of course he's holding a paintbrush. So awesome. Oh, he's got a little mustache too. I, I just barely noticed that. He's really changed since it's being a little artist. Now he's a professional artist. And then the medium boss, Sunset Near. Okay. I uh, Yeah, okay. Yeah. So instead of just being black and white, now it's got the fiery colors. Yeah, perfect, dude. Well, not fiery, Sunset, but you know what I mean. Okay, so from the easy to the medium, he gets added a paintbrush, the ruler thing. Don't know what to call that. And the pencil is up top instead. All right. All right. What's this area? Near attack through here. Wait. Wait, what do you mean? Am I gonna die? What the heck is this? Pencil attack. Oh, wait a minute. Does this guy summon units? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so with the pencil, he summons these terrible concepts that he's thrown out. Okay, cool. With the paintbrush, he summons the shield character with the paint with the paintbrush as the lance. And you got the guy with the scissors. Okay, very awesome. Alright. Ruler attack. Oh, so it was a ruler. So what does this do exactly? Just smack people with it? I mean, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It stuns heroes. Perfect. All right. That's cool, dude. The the way it extends, that's so awesome. And then the eras eraser. Damn it, dude. He deletes heroes. This boss is going to be so difficult, man. I mean, I don't even know how much HP it has. But if you remember, that map is so small, dude. All right, here you got the dialogue area. I remember reading this, but I'm not going to do that for here. Oh, wait, you have the different versions. Okay, through here. I didn't even notice this, dude. Even though I was literally just here at the start, dude. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's cool that we could travel through the different versions. I'm not going to do that, but, I mean, we could easily see the differences through here. All right, man. Well, that's Comic Cataclysm 5.0. Dude, I'm so impressed still. I mean, wow. Everything about it is good. I can't complain about literally anything. There's so much added. There was so much heart into this map, dude. My goodness. It deserves to be in here, man. They updated it five times, man. 5.0, I assume, right? And with that scaling thing, they're probably going to update it again, I I guess. This guy should really ask Hilo what, it, what he means by that, you know? <laughs> Instead of being in the dark about it. Genuinely such an impressive map. Oh my gosh, man. And with that, I'm going to be calling it here. Goodbye. Goodbye.